To start off, get yourself some glass container. These two are from a kid's crafting box. This one is from a car air freshener. Be sure to empty the jars and the glass container so you can put some hot glue in it. Now you want a piece of cardboard. You also want some colored hot glue sticks, which you will use with your hot glue gun. I have a ton of them and I really like the shine you can see uh, into the sticks. Now you want to clear the transparent glue of the glue gun. You can pull out the stick or you can use a skewer to force out the remaining hot glue. Remember to always try your ideas before your final craft. Here you can see I have some clear glue residue. Good, I have checked. Now you want to fill your emptied glass with the colored hot glue. Remember to clean the little leftover if you change color. Let some space between the nozzle of the hot glue gun and the glass. If it's airtight, glue will have some hard time going all the way down. Now we have some beautiful and colorful potions. I really like that shine, making it magical. Even some red is sparkling in the blue and it's amazing. Now you remember when I told you not to press your hot glue nozzle against the glass? Well I did it and here is the result. To add some details, we can put parchment stickers to name the potion. The technique you use to edge the paper is up to you. I like to mix oil paint with white spirit to make my own. Quick tip here, use an old brush with white spirit because otherwise it will be in bad shape. I've tried four different colors and I'm going to choose two of them. Then I am going to test multiple pens to see which one have the best result on the color I choose. Now I am writing the name of the potion I choose. Then a quick check to see if it goes on. I like to put a black edge just so it aged very well the parchment. And it also gives a kind of a cartoon look which I really like but it's up to you. Just glue it on.